In this presentation, we're going to look at inventory valuation for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. We're going first to look at it from the chart of accounts, then from the inventory valuation report, then we look at the unit cost from the item card, and we finish by looking at the setup. So let's, let's go to the chart of accounts first. You have your inventory valuation online. So the balance is the two days of valuation. Let's put a date filter from November 2013 to the end of December 2013. And you have at the balance at date the valuation at the end of 2013. Let's go to the GL balance by dimension. We put a filter on the inventory inventory values, inventory accounts. We want to see it by month, balance at date. And then you have the trend, month by month. The detail you will get from the chart of accounts will depend on your inventory posting setup, which is a combination of the location code and the inventory posting group. So you can define on which account does it goes to. You need to be aware that your setup either if it's automatic cost posting, automatic cost adjustment allows you to see your figures in your charter, chart of accounts directly or if you need to run the adjust cost and the post inventory cost to GL. Now let's look at the inventory valuation report. You we always take the include expected cost, always, because it is part of your inventory valuation. We have the inventory at the beginning, all the increase and decrease, and the value, and the value posted to the GL. So, your stock value is the column expected cost included. You can run your inventory valuation by location to filter it. The advantage of the inventory valuation compared to the uh, chart of accounts is that you have your detail by item. Again, expected cost included. Now let's look from the item card. We have the unit cost that is maintained by NAV automatically. And you, if you drill down, you see the historical changes. So here we have an increase. And you can see what it comes from if we navigate. So first we have the, we have the item ledger entries. That is to say the physical receipt and shipments. Here it's a receipt. So if you navigate on that part, the receipt, you will go to the posted, posted purchase receipt. But really the value, you need to go to the value entries and we see the purchase, purchase invoice. If we navigate there, we see the direct unit cost, how much we purchase it. 
19 dollars now your inventory valuation will depend on your costing method potentially if you use item tracking code serial or lot numbers it can de it will depend if you use overhead rate indirect cost percentage so that's part of the landed cost that's two ways of doing it and another way of doing landed cost is to put charge items so your inventory valuation will reflect all this setup.